In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create a circle or plane that has been divided into hexagons. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I should go through this tutorial on the assumption that you've got very little experience in Blender. So the first thing I'm going to do is just hit return to remove this banner. Oh incidentally this is version 2.912. So hit the return button or your return button to remove the banner. With the cube selected, hit delete on your keyboard. Then press 7 on your numbers pad to go into top view. Hold down shift followed by A. And next to mesh, select circle. Come to the bottom left of the screen and next to add circle there's a little arrow, select this in the box next to vertices where it says 32 type in 6 that gives you a six sided hexagon mind you that's a silly comment because a hexagon is six sided but anyway so you've now got a hexagon press tab on your keyboard and then just press A to make sure everything's selected followed by F to fill your hexagon. Press tab again to come out of edit mode and this will bring you back into object mode. And then to the right of the screen look for the little wrench properties modifier or proper modifier properties it actually says and then just select this. Select add modifier and then select array. And the first thing you need to think about is what do you want in the middle of your um, face or plane. So because I want to have a full hexagon in the middle, I'm going to take the count here where it says 2 up to 9. Now you can, use, you can manually type a figure in here or you can use the little arrow and just select how many you want. So I'm going to go for 9. And to the right of the camera there's a little drop down arrow select this and then select apply come up to object and then next to where it says set origin select geometry to origin and this will place this in the middle come back to add modifier and select array again and this time where it says factor X, where it says 1, select this and type in 0. And next to Y, type in 1. And hit return. Take your count up to the number you want. So this is going to go up to 9. And again, select the little drop down arrow and apply. Come back up to object set origin and then geometry to origin roll your middle mouse so that you can see all of your hexagons and then press tab on your keyboard to go into edit mode to the top of the screen to the top right got a little cube with a face highlighted it's your face select button select this and then to the top of the screen or to the middle there's a magnet it says snap select this then to the right of this where it says snapping left click and select vertex if you move your mouse away this that banner will disappear so i'm going to roll my middle mouse and then using shift and my middle mouse reposition this so you get a clearer view of what i'm doing If I hold my pointer away from, say, this top row here, hold my left mouse button down, I can select the top row. Now, if I want these to snap in this direction, what you don't want to do is select the middle. So if I select this area here, this point here, just place my pointer near this point here, which is a vertice or vertex and then press G for grab it will snap this to this position here 
then use your left mouse button to select or release. I'm going to grab these now by box selecting like I did before and this time I'm going to go to the right and press G. I'll do one more then I'll finish this and I'll, I'll go ahead and finish this now and the next thing you need to do is make sure once you've got these at the top next thing you need to do is make sure that you move the bottom row the same as you did the top so select the bottom row and place your pointer near a vertice and select G again and I'll go through and do the rest of these and come back to this now once you've first uh, got all your faces joining each other I'm just going to center this up a bit. Press tab on your keyboard to go into object mode. Now you can create this as a circle or a box. There's a couple of ways, but the easiest way, especially if you're new to Blender, is to actually hold down shift followed by A, and then next to mesh, select a circle. Obviously, your circle will only have six uh, vertices. So I'm going to take this up to something like 64 and hit return. Now, if you come up to the top, there's like a little wire cage. It says viewpoint shading and it should say wireframe. Yes, it does. So select this and then press S and move your mouse to increase the size of your circle. Now what you don't want to do is end up with say the circle larger. You need to make sure that this is just slightly within your bottom hexagons. So I'll just reposition this just to show you what I mean. So here's a vertice here. You need to make sure that you're within this. So I could adjust this a little bit more, say by pressing S and take it out a little bit more, but I don't want to be past. So we'll try it here. It should work. Roll your middle mouse to zoom out and then center yourself up. Now press 1 on your keyboard. And for ease, I'm going to just select this little move button here and then place my pointer over the blue arrow hold my left mouse button down and just drag this up fractionally now press tab again to go into edit mode and then E for extrude and drag this down now if this happens it's probably because you got the face selected so go over to vertices this is at the top here the one with the dots in it and again press E and drag it down now if it moves like this in fact I've got the snapping on you I can turn that off I'll turn this snapping off so again press E and move this down now if it doesn't come down in a straight line just press Z and that will lock it in place it doesn't matter how much you bring it down by as long as though it's below the red X axis line left click to accept press 7 on your keyboard to go into top view press A to select everything and again press E and then S it doesn't show up on the keycast so assess for sugar and move your mouse so that your this is larger than your plane of hexagons and then left click now what you should have is a cylinder with a hole in the middle press tab on your keyboard again and then select your hexagons Come over to add modifier, you should still have the wrench selected. Select add modifier, then boolean. Then in the object mode, left click and select circle 001. And this will happen. What you need to do is select, where it says solver, select fast. And this difference should be selected as well. Come back to the drop down arrow and then select apply and now you can select your cylinder and then hit delete 
and you'll end up with a circle that has been made with hexagon faces and that's basically all there is to it really you could if you wanted to just to improve the edge a bit if you went back over to um, edit mode say press tab and then select all you could just tidy up the edges a bit but if you go into vertice I think no mesh next to transform it says to sphere select to sphere and just move it a bit to the right it'll just tidy it up a little bit that's all there is to it really you've now created something you can actually select faces on if you want and color in or you could extrude these i won't go into any more detail hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers